so the goals are to really learn software engineering. So going, parking back to my student days, I've always been kind of uh, amazed at how bad software engineering is taught at the universities because back when I was doing it, you're supposed to have 100 people working for five years to build software. It's a complete mismatch of, the, uh, of what you're supposed to do with what you can teach in the classroom. So I, like students ever since then, would listen to the instructor, ignore what they said, and just build software at the end, just like we always have. Uh, what's great is what's happened is software has been reinvented in a way that makes it a lot easier to teach. It matches the classroom. So that was, I was excited about uh, coming back to it. So what you're going to do, and you're the second group to do this, uh, because it worked so well last time, you're going to not pick your own project, which is fun, but it's more educational, and the students from last time testified at the end of the class about it, working with somebody else's project, particularly a non-technical customer, and typically from a nonprofit, I'll show you an example of that. And they're going to tell you their problem, and you're going to have to figure out how to solve it, right? And it's not what you think is cool, it's going to be what they think is useful, and it'll be highly educational. Uh, the server side of what we're doing is Ruby on Rails. We'll talk about why we're using Ruby on Rails, and depending how much you want to do on the client side, we'll talk about JavaScript and Ajax and things like that. And deploy uh, using cloud computing. So let me do examples from last time. Uh, is you can imagine the East Bay Humane Society, uh, they did a pet matchmaker. Before that, it was a box, a cardboard box with files, pieces of paper in it. Uh, that's being used now. Uh, closer to home, the UC uh, student dormitory, packages get lost. Uh, they did a tracking system so that uh, the person who receives it could let you know when it shows up and where it's located and much more dependable. A minority venture capital firm uh, basically was controlling all proposals from small startups from minority firms in Oakland from a bunch of email and it would get lost, they'd lose track, and so they created their own customer relationship manager that can track proposals and let people know what's going on. And then the one I'm going to tell you about is from Oakland Children's Hospital, not too far from here, a nurse vacation scheduler. So you, I thought, that how hard is that? Well, it turns out with union rules and things like that, it's really hard. Right? There's 60 or 80 people, there's priority, there's part-time, there's full-time, and they were doing it with passing a notebook around. So uh, you actually, for your projects, we're going to ask you to do this. Interview the non-technical person, ask them what their problem is, and then you're going to do your screencast of what your solution was after working with them for many iterations, many weeks, and then what did they think of the project. So let me show you what that's going to look like. Okay. These are two of the managers, and they've just described how they do with notebooks, and they can't get it done in time, and it's have to follow union rules, and people have to take turns in doing it. Uh, and I'll students. see what the students came up with. That was the beauty of it. Um, what was it like working with the students? They contacted us and arranged to meet with us every week. Um, sometimes we met weekly, sometimes it was every two weeks. Um, but never for weeks. more than 20 minutes, probably. Yes. Um, so that was a really good thing for us. Um, didn't take a lot of time for us, but trying to convey to them the rules that we have to go by for a vacation. We showed them what we did, and then we showed them the rules and gave them a copy of the rules. It was so yeah. smooth. Yeah. So they came back to, with ideas that we couldn't have uh, put forward and uh, brought into this institution. And um, great, I, they heard our critiques when they came back weekly. They would give us, uh, we're working on... Um, one of one to three areas of um, the steps in creating this program. So it sounds like you got a lot of opportunities to give feedback on what they were doing and, and that they tried to incorporate your suggestions. And they easily fixed any they concerns. They did. It yes. was amazing. So now with this prototype in place, is there a plan to use this and hope things get better? Correct, yes. So our vacations are due February 1st of each year. Um, and so we start usually in January. And that's when we're going to start using it. Great. Well, uh, I look forward to maybe touching base with you again in February and finding out yes. yeah, how, the, how the beta <laughs> yeah. test went. I think Laura and I, we're both on the fifth floor, we'll end up trialing this um, this year. And if, if it's successful for us, it'll probably spread through other units in the hospital. Well, that's great. Thank you very much for your time and also for working with our students. Thank it was you. great. It was a pleasure. <laughs> okay, and it said there, they, the students met with them a week, tell them what features they were going to add. And uh, they gave them feedback whether they thought they were valuable and how it was looking. We'll talk about why that's important. And then here's what uh, a screencast the two of the students of the five-person team did. 
And uh, this is the login screen. Previously, vacation scheduling for the Oakland Children's Hospital was tedious as it was all done by paper. And our website puts this entire process online. First, let's log in as an admin. And we can add some nurses to the surgery unit daytime shift. Currently, you can see that there are no nurses in the system. And we can add new nurses by uploading an Excel spreadsheet. Now we can individually manage these nurses and view their vacations. We note that there is also a rule section where an administrator can set specific rules for a unit and shift regarding specific holiday schedules or union rules. But for now, we will start the vacation scheduling process by clicking Finalize Nurses. This will create accounts for all the nurses and notify the first nurse that it is his or her turn to start scheduling vacations. Now as a nurse, after I receive the email, I can set up my account and start scheduling vacation. Now I'll schedule a valid vacation first and set the start date and end date. Once I saved it, I can now see that it appears on the calendar. If I try to schedule an invalid vacation, for example, one that is less than seven days long, I'll get an error message. When I'm done scheduling my vacation, I can click finalize, and this will send an email to the next nurse to start scheduling a vacation and to all the administrators following this unit. The Oakland Children's Hospital is planning to use our app in their next vacation scheduling period. Thanks for watching. All right. And I think you can detect the pride of ownership there of uh, putting this together. So you, you guys will do all of these things. And a big part of it is what you think is a really cool feature and find out whether the non-technical people think it's a cool feature, uh, what, whether they think that's useful or not. OK. So results from that class this last time. Uh, this is what the, the feedback was from the, the uh, non-technical customers. There were 25 projects last time. So 90% of them said the customers were happy or thrilled with the work. Uh, about half of the customers tried to hire the people to w keep working on it. <laughs> uh, and two-thirds of the students said they were going to keep, you know, maintenance is a big deal for software. They were going to keep maintaining whether or not they got paid. Um, uh, from our perspective, the staff's perspective, the students last time really got into it, you know, really helping this non-technical customer. The big part of this process is doing lots of iter iterations, and the story has got more uniform and more complex. And uh, although the projects, there are 25 projects, although they varied in code quantity, some of them are bigger than the others, the quality was really great, which is what we were shooting for, and they really followed the process. 